Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Bassler here. I have a fun art project today. I know we're on our last week of Zoom and we've had some fun, exciting weeks with insects and bugs and now we're doing flowers. So I'm gonna show you, besides the flowers growing outside and, and the gardening and putting the seeds in the ground and the bulbs and seeing all those beautiful colors, I have an art project that you can make inside. Maybe you can hang up on the refrigerator take it to your classroom, maybe mom and dad study, and it's all with construction paper. So let me show you what you might need, or you will need to put it together. So I have my glue, a pair of scissors. I have a green crayon. I guess you could use a marker if you'd like, but a green crayon's a little bit less messier. I have my ruler. I have a pen. Um, oh, I have different construction paper. I have some white, some green, some red, some yellow, some orange, and some purple. So let me show you. Oh yes, <laughs> I do have a water bottle and it's not because I want to drink, it's empty. And I'm not even going to use the water bottle, but I wanted to show you. I'm going to use the lid because the lid is a perfect little circle and it's going to help us through this flower. So I'm going to put this right there so we were ready for it. So, are you ready to see the flowers we can make? These are the flowers I'm going to show you how to make today. Now you'll see I did two different stems because this is the crayon with the leaves and the stem, and this is with construction paper. If you wanna keep cutting and pasting, that's absolutely fine. But this is what I'm gonna teach you because if we can get one made so you can see how to make it, then you can keep making them in all different colors and make a bouquet, all right? So I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put all this extra paper down. I'm gonna use the same color paper. Now you can make your bouquet this way with a big flower, little flower, big flower, or you can hold it this way and make a garden with some grass on the bottom. I'm gonna hold it this way, just so you can see how to start this flower. So the first thing I wanna get ready are those white petals, these petals right here. And you can see they're pretty thin. So what I like to do is, use, I used white paper for one. It would look like a daisy. And I, this looks like a rectangle, doesn't it? Do you remember? Long, long, short, short. So what I like to do is cut strips of paper that are about six inches. So let me see if I measure across. And remember, we're using these to count and look for that six number. So I'm gonna put my paper here and see if that's six. It actually looks longer than six. And let me turn it and measure the other way. Oh, and that's just six. Look at that. It's six from here to there. That's excellent. Okay, so I don't have to cut that, but what I wanna do is make those skinny strips. So instead of making lines, and maybe, you know what, maybe I will make a line just to show you. Oops, I just lost my crayon, that's okay. You can have mom help you with this if you want. I'm gonna make a couple here so you can see, and maybe that'll help you. Okay, you see how I used a ruler and I made lines, lines. They look pretty skinny, aren't they? But we're gonna hold our scissors. Remember, left, there, thumb on the top, okay? And I'm gonna open and close and get by that line. And I have to open and close and push. Try to stay straight. All right, I'm gonna do another one. And I'm gonna move over and do this one. Now, I think I cut three and I really need six. So without my lines, I'm gonna move over and see if I can go straight. And I'm gonna move over a little bit more. And I think I might need one more. So if you want mommy to draw you six lines that you could do the same thing that I just did, then you'll have your little strips. Let me see if I have six. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. I do. All right, remember that water bottle cap? This is where it comes into play. So you decide, do you want a tall flower? Do you want a short flower? I'm gonna make a tall one here so we can at least get one flower down. So do you see what I just did? I put the lid down and I held my finger down and I traced around it and look, I made that little circle that we're gonna need. Now that's going to start as the center of our flower. So you wanna take your glue, you wanna spread your glue inside. Just go around and around. You don't need a big puddle, but that's where the one end of the flower is gonna be in. So you're gonna take one strip and only use about this much and you're gonna put it in the middle and let it come out. Hold it down a little bit like we do. Take another strip and do the same thing. Put it right next to that. We're gonna make it look like a starburst and let it come out. Remember, you're just putting the tip, the tippy tip down and press it down and let this come out loose. And then take another one and do the end. Press it down, let the rest come out loose. I have two more. Press it down and let it come out. All right, my last strip. Press it down, whoops, and let it come out. You can hold it there for a minute if you want. And then you're gonna take that glue again and you're just gonna put it right on top. Just around and around and around. Not a big puddle. Let me see if I can hold this up and show you what it looks like. Now, this is the fun part to make it. You're gonna go one by one strip and you're gonna use just the end again and you're gonna press them and meet them all in the middle. You can press them down as you bring them in just fold them up and touch just the end part, right into the middle on that glue. Now, if you find you're gonna be needing some more glue, then you can always add a little bit more, but you don't wanna lay the whole strip down. You just want it to bop down a little bit at the end, push it in, just push it in. And then do you see how they're sticking up? You can hold it in there and count a little bit, but as you press it down, there is our flower. All right, now I'm gonna look for that yellow paper. This is where the lid comes in again. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna put my finger on it so it doesn't move. I'm gonna take my pencil and let it sit right against it and go around and around. There's another circle. So I am going to use my scissors and I'm gonna follow that circle around. I already used one for my other flower I made to show you. Now I'm cutting out another and it goes around and around. So my helper hand has to help. Now, if you want mom to make that yellow paper shorter because you don't need this big for a little circle, you can do that. Now, guess what you're gonna do? You can either put glue on the back of this or take your glue and put another pile of glue in the middle of that flower you made. Let's see if you can see that shiny glue in there. And then you're going to stick this right in the middle and use your pointer finger and you're just gonna press it down. And that's gonna be the center of our flower. Look at your beautiful flower. Now you can decide do you want to use your crayon or your marker to make a stem? Or would you like to find your green paper? If you have green, I have light green. And you can draw another skinny line if you want. Or if you want a short flower, you could do the short side of that rectangle or the long side. And I'll give you a clue about my rectangles. If you look at my rectangle, it's actually half of a full sheet. So if this was one big piece of green paper 
and I folded it, this would be, this would be the half. All right, so I'm gonna take my scissors again. I'm gonna open them, put it on that line, open and push. Remember, I'm not pulling my scissors out. I'm following that line. Good. Now, I'm gonna take my glue again. I'm gonna go on the bottom of my flower. I'm gonna gently squeeze my bottle. Then I'm gonna squeeze a line to the bottom. You see that? Because that's where my green stem is gonna go. I'm gonna pick up my stem. I'm gonna put it on my flower. I'm gonna take my finger, rub my finger right along. And it's a little bit longer than the paper, so I'm gonna take my scissors I'm gonna make it the same width of the paper. Look at that. So we have our daisy. Now, to draw your leaves, remember the leaves could just look like a V, or you could go up and make like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Remember the loop-de-loops I was talking about the other week? So if you start at the bottom, you take your pen or crayon up, and come down or maybe you want to make a little one look at those two shapes now that might be tricky you're really going to need your helper hand but you can go up and around and you can make them two different leaves too you can just cut that off and then you can go up and around the other one. And you don't have to make them this big. You can make shorter leaves. You can make a little bit rounder leaves if you want. But then take your glue. And remember, this will be tiny lines because it's not a really fat leaf. So you don't want to make big, big puddles and put it on one side of your flower. And then put some glue, nice and easy, on the other side. And then where do you wanna put it on your plant? Move it up a little bit, keep it close to it. Look at that daisy you made. So you can have fun, you could start another flower. You can maybe make a pink or red flower. You have to make those strips, all right? And then keep adding those strips. So again, I'm going to use, I'm going to look six inches is good because when you fold it, half of six and you take three away, half of it will be three inches. So you'll have that to fold. So you can start by making those little strips. Keep moving over. And if you remember the six inches, you can maybe remember, I need six strips. So once you have your six strips made, then maybe you can remember what to do with the middle. All right, now we may not be able to have time to finish the pink flower, but I'll show you because that's the one I used the crayon on, remember? So here's the one we're looking at, and you can keep making them. You can make those strips like we just did in the pink, and you can measure that bottle cap to get a new middle, and you can put glue in it, and you can fold, and you can get lots of petals to go around, and then cut out that yellow so that you have the center. And that is some fun flower so that you can make and you can hang them up or maybe you can make a picture for mommy or grandma. Maybe it's her birthday coming up and you can make her a picture that she can hang up. So we have lots of fun things to do. Maybe I'll come back with one more flower to bake for you. But boys and girls, you enjoy Zoom. You enjoy the flowers. Please enjoy the outside with the sunshine and the fresh air. And we will see you in Zoom. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.